Welcome back, this is a quick round up of the Game Fair 2024 at Blenheim Palace. Just to prove on there, a quick behind the scenes look. And I'm here with Thermtech and the guys from Optics Well. Let's have a look around, be right back. So here we are inside the Optics Well stand. As you can see, it's mostly thermal scopes from Thermtech. There's some Saitong night vision and some Discovery Optical Scopes, which proved very popular. And outside there's a couple of tripods with scopes and spotters. This is the row we were in, which is still classed as Gunmaker's Row, although it should have been called Clothes Maker's Row, I think. Lots of uh, big brands there. Lots of people buying them as well. And looking back through I thought I'd try and catch Winnie but she's too camera shy she's run off um, outside Jason's there somewhere where is he ah there he is he was hiding and the guy just walking away is Hunter from Thermtech themselves yeah they know I'm filming another quick look at the, uh, the rifle stocks so across the way at the clothes that I spoke of earlier um, believe it or not, that's Vinnie Jones and co. They were, they were around earlier filming, probably for a TV show, um, and he came back half an hour later and uh, had a very close look at some of those boots. In fact, I think he might be having a sniff. But anyway, it's always nice to see Mr. Jones, especially if you remember the, uh, the footballing days like I do. And I'm pretty sure he flew out by helicopter about 10 minutes after that. Didn't really draw a crowd, which is surprising. Perhaps nobody spotted him yet. I can't believe it's just me. Anyway, it's the game fair. Let's look at some guns. Selection of uh, used and refurbished shotguns from Eldergen and Sons. This is where all the food is cooked. They clearly cook it very well, judging by all the smoke. Apparently it's nothing to worry about. There's everything there. Um, you name it, you can you can buy it there. Um, the show prices are as show prices are, but um, it's all pretty good. At the police there, or the firearms and explosives licensing guys, um, very helpful if you've got any queries about your ticket why you can't get one or why it might be revoked they're more than happy to give you all the information and advice they can very friendly very welcoming now Pixra I couldn't resist Pixra because their stand looks so professional uh, and it is a really nice setup unfortunately I can't say the same for their product this is just my opinion, and I am biased, but I didn't think it was that good. As they're all part of Thomas Jacks, I popped around the corner. There is Tom having a chat with a customer, doing his best to look busy because he knows I'm filming. Actually, there's plenty going on around there. They're always busy, and they've got that huge viewing platform, Night Pearl. Now, these guys are a hidden gem. Uh, again, some of their earlier stuff maybe wasn't so good. But uh, the stuff they've got now is bang on the money. Very impressed with it. Unfortunately, their next order Hick Micro, Hick Micro, uh, seem to be expanding all the time. It's a sea of tripods along that whole row. Uh, and in fact, I'll turn around in a second, I'll show you the other side. So there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of tripods there. And then I took a few steps back and turned around and there was more tripods. That's an invasion of the tripods. There you go. But uh, it looks like they were having a good show. As they always do. Always have a big presence at all the shows now. Scots Country. It's always nice to have a little look in there. Again, very nice stand. Quite a big presence. And then next door to Optics Warehouse. Um, and that's probably one of the smaller uh, displays I've seen from Optics. But again, very busy. Lots of people queuing up to buy. GMK, 
with their own version of Blenheim Palace made out of tents. All the brand names you'd expect. Very impressive. Opposite them are my friends Verazzi. Now, much smaller, but much classier. I've got to say, this is a really, really nice stand. And in that glass case that we're just approaching is a pair of handmade spoke shotguns for £65,000. Nice work if you can get it. Moving on. Taking out a walk just outside and looking around, you can see that's a really nice position. Um, they've got lots of space around it. Open on two sides, so it's one of the few places where there was any breeze. And they've got a nice huge leather sofa in there as well. Um, I made sure that Becky was in the picture. Okay, back to the cheap seats, if you can call it that. So this is back to Gunmaker's Row. Plenty of tweeds. And there were a few people done up in their tweeds. It was a bit warm for that really, but um, fair play to them. I think they did a roaring trade in floppy hats as well. This is the Game Fairs version of Poundland. It's called Ten Pound Land. And um, this is a view along the opposite side, which leads up to the show ring. That balloon there, I'm, I'm sure that was getting closer all the time. Unless there was two of them. Quick view of the palace, and the palace can be seen from the showroom, which is where I'm standing now. It's a horse show, I think, they're doing at the moment. Um, and there have been dog shows and various other things. And if that's what you're into, it's definitely the place to go. It's not for me. I got bored very quickly. And before you know it, I'm back where I started. So there we go. Again, that's the Gunmaker's Row, and it seems to be the Clothes Makers area of Gunmaker's Row. But still very busy. Plenty of people milling around. Plenty of people buying, actually. That's Ridgeline just there. And uh, I think they did a roaring trade. They're getting a really nice stand. A lot of um, effort's gone into that. And I saw them taking it down, so I can say that a lot of effort did go into that. There's Optics World next door and Magic Ball next to us. And that's the end of play. Sunday afternoon, everybody wandering home. Off into the sunset. Well, that's it for another year at the Game Fair. So that was a quick roundup, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. What sense does that mean?